God gives flesh to the dry bones of the dead. Let us earnestly beseech God to breathe on all creatures and call them out of the tomb. We pray for the church, for all bishops, priests, deacons, and people in their many ministries. Help us to remember that we are the church wherever we are. God of love. Hear our prayer. O oh God, in the midst of turmoil throughout the world, we seek your guidance and your light. We pray for all those affected by the COVID-19 virus, those who are vulnerable, and those at great risk. We pray for world leaders, presidents and heads of state, governors, mayors, county and civic leaders. Guide the hearts of your servants and all leaders to do justice, love mercy, and walk in the ways of truth. God of love, Hear our prayer. For those who are sick and recovering, for those who are caring for loved ones who are sick at home, for those who are separated from loved ones, for those who are feeling alone and isolated. God of love. Hear, hear our prayer. For those who are so very tired, for those who are struggling to find friends, food, and comfort, for the elderly, the frail, the homebound, for those who are afraid. God of love, hear our prayer. For researchers and scientists working tirelessly to curb the spread of the virus, for doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, and all medical professionals, for first responders and public safety professionals, grocery workers, and essential service employees, for all those who cannot work from home, God of love. Hear our prayer. For those who have lost work in this time, for those who own and operate businesses and nonprofits who will not survive closures, God of love. Hear our prayer. For children and youth who miss the structure and rhythm of life, for those missing sports seasons, proms, class trips, and other important milestones, for parents who have become teachers in the absence of school, in addition to their regular responsibilities and routines. God of love. Hear our prayer. For those who have had to postpone or cancel weddings, graduations, confirmations, baptisms, and other momentous occasions. For those without access to technology or other means to stay connected to friends and family. God of love. Hear our prayer. We commend to God all who have died, especially for those whom we now name. I'm dead, they're Larry. Um, uh, and for those who have died and are known to God alone, may they all rest in eternal peace, God of love. Hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for signs of new life, 
for deepened relationships and resources of strength we did not know we had. In thanksgiving for the birth of baby Kennedy, in thanksgiving for the phone tree ministry, for Zoom, and the other ways in which we stay connected. God of love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Please add your own intercessions in thanksgiving, either silently or aloud. St. John's. For a place to live and for family. For tears. For safety. For nurses. Doctors. For the many texts I've received from my St. John's family. Thanks for all those who are reaching out to others. Beth, Beth, Tim, and Mary Beth Weigel. God of love. Hear our prayer. prayer. Blessed are you, God of the living and the dead, who called your son from the grave. Receive the prayers we offer this day for those who seek new life in Jesus Christ and for all those in need in every place. We ask this thing, these things in the name of Christ who taught us to pray. Our Father, heaven, be your name. Kingdom come, will be done on earth as in heaven. Today, our daily bread, give us our sins. We forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. And deliver us for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Tim, I think you're muted. Come to, come to us, Lord, for in our hour of need. Forgive us, Lord, for your mercy is great. Lord Jesus, you free us from our fears and give us new life. For the sake of your love, forgive us all our sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, so that we may walk faithfully in your eternal life. Amen. 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 Friends, we had just a few announcements for you this morning uh, before we finish with our blessing. Um, in this time of social distancing, we're trying to offer as many ways as we can for you all to stay connected with worship, with Holy Week service, um, services, Bible studies, prayer services, meditations. Um, you can find everything on our website. If you go to the website, uh, stjohnsroyaloak.org, and on the homepage, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see these blocks, and it says everything that we're doing, and it's in three columns. So the first one tells you what the event is. So like today, Sunday worship, or morning prayer, or Bible study. And the next column show, provides a link for you to tap into it. So it'll bring you right to the Zoom page that you need to go to on that day, on that, at that time. And then the far right column, if there's a bulletin or selected readings or something, you can just click on that and you'll be able to pull up the readings for that. So please um, come to anything that you can. If you are having trouble with Zoom or if you know folks who are not able to figure it out or would like some help in the community, we have three people, uh, three parishioners who have said they are willing to help. Just drop me or Beth Taylor a note and we can help connect you or that person uh, with someone who can help them get on Zoom and, and access everything there is to access. And then again, if you have any pastoral care needs, any questions about the programs, about technology, about what's going on with the church or just anything at all that you want to talk about, um, please call this number. It's a different number than you're used to calling the church. 
it's a line that rings directly to both me and Beth Taylor. So when you call it, it rings both of our phones uh, so that one of, us, one of us can get to you. It's 248-721-4325. Another way we're staying connected is to launch a good old fashioned phone tree. Using a dozen or so St. John's volunteers, we split the congregation into smaller groups. And beginning this week, every member of the parish will be contacted by another member by phone. The caller will be checking in with you to see how you're doing, to make sure you have what you need, and to check on your spirit. To know how we can support and pray for you, so expect a call this week. And we encourage you to reach out to others by calling or sending a card to someone this week. This is an important way to keep from feeling isolated and alone, and it's really encouraging to the person who hears from you. If you have any questions about the phone tree, contact Sheba Zakaria or one of the clergy. Give us a wave, Sheba, so we know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. This is Will Wittig, your senior warden. Thank you all for joining us online this morning. I'm really pleased to see what I think is 125 households participating this morning. I also want to encourage you, especially during this difficult time, to continue supporting St. John's financially during the suspension of in-person services and meetings. There are several ways that you can do that. First, please know that you can certainly continue mailing your pledges and contributions to St. John's at our regular mailing address, that will work. Or if it's possible for you, we would really like to encourage you to consider giving electronically during this time. If you go to our website, stjohnsroyaloak.org, you can give safely and securely electronically, which will cut down on processing checks, driving to the bank, etc. You can click on the give pull down menu or the give button for instructions to either give online with a credit card or you can text to give, or you can set up a personal bill pay through your bank to be issued to St. John's on a regular basis. Please know that the vestry and the clergy are working hard to set up systems for caring for you and for our building and for our staff, many of whom are hourly employees who depend on us and for our ministries that serve the wider community. We are fully committed to continue to meet our financial obligations to all our staff, so we need your ongoing support to do that. Thank you for being faith, faithful in your stewardship and in your care for one another. Peace. Thank you. And now, my friends, my beloved St. John's, for your blessing. We know that life is short. And we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who walk this way with us. So please be swift to love and make haste to be kind. And may the blessing of our loving God, the creator, the Christ, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and forevermore. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to be God. God. Thank you.